So welcome back to another Reddit reaction, boys and gals. We are, this is actually the first one, I believe, for Star Wars Hunters. I may have done one a while back, but this is the first one since launch. And this is a new monthly series I'm going to start where I'm going to just go through the Reddit and essentially react to what the community is feeling. Obviously, around launch, it's been a lot of positive thoughts. So I think today is going to be a lot of stuff that is to do with people enjoying the game. But there's going to be times where there's an update that people hate and it's going to be more negative and stuff like that. And it's always good to just sort of see what the community is feeling. So as always, we are going to set this to the top posts of the month. And as expected, the first one is essentially talking about how fun the game is. King Butter 42 says this game is actually really fun. I wasn't expecting much from this game, but holy crap, it is really fun. And the best part is it's not a pay to win game, meaning you don't have to spend money to become more powerful and whatnot. And it runs pretty decent on Switch and mobile, which is awesome too. This new updated Reddit, by the way, is absolutely atrocious. I don't know if you just saw that pop up, but this the website just like freezes at random. And it's nothing to do with my internet. It's just the site is absolutely terrible and it seems like all of the comments are pretty much saying the same thing here we go again <laughs> the page the page has died everyone seems to be just having a blast with it so it's really good to see i feel a little bit like validated because i had been playing the game and i i knew it was i knew it had good potential but i wasn't sure if that was just me wanting the game to be good because i have a star wars youtube channel so i was kind of nervous to see how people reacted once the game was you know live for everyone and yeah it, it feels like bit of validation that a game that I have liked is seemingly liked by pretty much everyone when I wasn't sure that would actually be the case. Now we've got a post here that says, hello devs, I'm just saying with a royal guard, which would actually be a sick hunter that they should definitely add. I actually really agree with that. We've seen it, with, like Sentinel is just a, an ex stormtrooper. It's not that far-fetched. It's obviously a little bit less realistic i guess than a there was a lot of stormtroopers there was only x amount of royal guards but the time period would match up the same sort of thing is with sentinel that this is set about it's pretty much set during the time of the mandalorian so it's about five years after the fall of the empire and yeah there could be just a royal guard that when palpatine died he just was like well, whatever i'm just gonna go do my own thing and then he you know tries to make his money through the arena so that would actually be a pretty cool hunter to see i'm wondering if people are gonna have their own you know, recommendations and stuff in here as well. Here's my take on how he might play. He'd be a tank with 250 HP, a shock pike with 20 damage per swing, melee weapon that slows enemies briefly. Every third hit, it stuns briefly instead. Ultimate is not from a Jedi activate while dead to begin to resurrect. Interesting. That's a very interesting ultimate. If activated while alive, gain 25% attack speed and move speed for 10 seconds instead of resurrecting. Overall, there's some pretty cool ideas there. Um, yeah, I think it's... It's going to be fun to see what people come up with and like speculations for upcoming hunters and all that kind of thing. I really do think we are going to get some like some known factions and stuff from Star Wars. Obviously, there's already some in the game with uh, they're not really factions, but say species like Trandoshans and Wookiees and stuff. We're going to get a lot of familiar feeling stuff in this game for sure. I have no doubt we'll end up getting like a clone trooper similar to Sentinel that's just like a old clone trooper or even if they because I guess that wouldn't work with the speed at which they age but even just someone who's got clone armor and stuff like that they'll probably be like a freaking gungan you know it, there's just gonna be so much cool stuff so i wouldn't be surprised if we do see a royal guard like this it'd be pretty cool to see that I'm definitely down for that top 100 player launch tier list so i take it he means that this guy is in the top 100 in ranked i'm not too sure i have actually literally just before recording this i've just done my updated um my re-ranking, I guess you would call it. It's pretty similar to this. I don't have Reeve in the top tier. I've instead got Zayna there, and then Reeve is down here. But the rest of it is pretty pretty similar, and Slingshot's a little bit lower, but that's about it. So I tend to agree with this. It's Even though it's different to mine, I can't really disagree with a lot of it, other than probably Groz. I think Groz is a good Groz player will just dominate the game. So yeah, interesting to see. I wonder if everyone sort of agrees. Yeah, everyone's saying that Scora slaps. Scora is, I'm surprised she is so strong. When she first launched, I essentially switched to being a Scora main and she was good, but she wasn't nearly that good. She also had an extra ability that used like, it was like a rapid fire ability for a blaster. And it's weird that she's had that removed, but then she's actually so much better than she used to be. Well, I think personally I've got her number one. So anyway, if you guys are interested, I'm pretty sure I'm trying to figure out the dates, but I'm pretty sure that re-ranking will be live in 
not too long from now. So be sure to go and check that out when it goes live. This post says, I apologize. And this is kind of what I was getting at before that I was, I think a lot of people felt this way. Uh, he says, when Star Wars Hunters was announced, I was part of the fan base who was pissed and very negative, but it's still Star Wars, so I had to try it. As of writing this, I'm 88 games in with a level 19 Aaron Tile. I'm obsessed. I've always hated hero shooters, but the game is just too fun. I love the synergy of the characters and the fast paced but high skill gameplay. I formally apologize to everyone for my dumb mastery. See you in the arena, Hunters. That's how I think a lot of people felt and to be honest, when they announced it and I hadn't played it yet, I definitely... It's a mobile game and I'm not much of a mobile gamer. I wasn't back then. I've definitely gotten into it a little bit more over the last few years. But I kind of... Look, I can understand why people felt that way. It's not... I think we all want, when we get a multiplayer Star Wars game, we want a Battlefront 3 or something like that. And so I understand the negativity, but I think once gameplay came out and stuff, I think it was clear that the game looked good. Obviously, people who couldn't play it, you can't tell if a game is good just by looking at it, though. But I'm glad that everyone is kind of... Like, I really haven't seen that many negative comments about the game once it's actually launched. The only ones that are negative are more about the microtransactions and stuff, or just the odd comment of like, where mobile game equals bad, which I don't even care about those opinions, to be honest. There is not that many actual genuine critiques that I hear of the game that are actually legitimate concerns. And so, yeah. It's good to see that people seem to be very, very happy with how the game's going. And now we just have to hope they support it for a long time and give us a lot of content, not just like... I know a lot of it's going to be skins and stuff. They're going to make their money. I really hope they do a lot of, you know, new modes and all that kind of thing, new maps and stuff, and just support it for a long time because there's clearly a very, very good game here. And hopefully, I think the final piece of the puzzle would be bringing it to the PS5 and the Xbox. I really think that would make a lot of people very happy because I know for myself, I like playing it on the Switch, but I would love to play it a lot more on a you know, a next gen console. So hopefully they support it for a long time, but either way it is very, it makes me feel good to see that everyone is actually genuinely having fun with it. There's a lot more posts here that are just talking about, you know, it's a positive surprise. And there's one down here talking about, usually not a big fan of mobile games, but damn it, I can't stop playing such a good game. It just honestly makes me feel genuinely happy that people are having fun with it for multiple reasons. One, it's just fun that everyone has a game that they're enjoying. That's just always a fun thing but it feels nice to have the like multiplayer star wars community back a little bit that's obviously for those who don't know that's where i started my channel was with battlefront 2 that's kind of what i came up on with this channel and there was a real genuine community feeling around there and i haven't really experienced that since battlefront 2 so it's just nice to have people enjoying a game and actually just talking about it without just shitting on a game and stuff like that it's it's a lot of fun so posts like this definitely make me very very happy triple kill objective kill me who completely missed <laughs> through my rock that is so true I, the amount of times i try and line up the boulder bash ultimate for groz and it just bounces off some random shit and i'm like oh, i've just wasted my ultimate and then it ends up getting like a squad wipe just <laughs> it can buy complete random it's so funny i'm glad that's not just me that that happens to the post here saying i'd love to see a gendai and Kalish as hunters. What are some species you'd like to see featured? That would be pretty cool. I think it's Gendai. It could be Gendai, but I'm pretty sure Ravis is a Gendai. And then for those who don't know, a Kalish is essentially what Grievous was, I guess, before he became like a cyborg. I'm gonna see what some of these comments say, because there's probably some really good ideas in here as well. I want a Tuscan Raider so bad. Oh, that is such a good point. I'm actually surprised that's not one of like the launch ones. A Tuscan Raider, that would be so perfect. And yeah, that's a good point too. Diago could have actually been a Tuscan Raider. He would, his play style would actually suit that. That would be, yeah, I'd be down for that. A Tuscan Raider with like a more of a, a long range play style. And then maybe they can use their, like the, I forget the, I think it's the Gendurfi stick or whatever that they use, or is that maybe, yeah, that's what, Boba uses, yeah. They could use, have, like, pull out one of them sort of similar to Sentinel, where if people get close, you can pull out, like, a melee weapon or something. That would be pretty cool. A Night Sister. That would be cool. Like, a magic... Yeah, that would be sick. A freaking Night Sister with, like... Like, I'm just thinking of Merrin from Fallen Order. Those sorts of, like, magic abilities and stuff. That would be absolutely sick. And the website has freaking died again. <laughs> a Baby Rancor as well. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. And this, this comment is true. A great idea that really fits the tone of the game, actually. Yeah, that, that, that would be pretty sick. A Twi'lek as well. That's a good point. 
and Astro Mech. Now, there's actually been rumor. I don't know how true any of this is. I haven't read. I'm going to order the Hunters book. For those who don't know, there is a short novel about Star Wars Hunters. And I haven't read that. I've seen a lot of people in the Discord servers and stuff talking about an Astro Mech. That could potentially be coming out. So having an Astro Mech in the game would be so cool. People might say it's a little bit dumb, but like BB-8 and BB-9E in... Battlefront 2, they actually worked pretty well. So you could do a you could do an Astro Mech for sure in this game. I would I would love to see that. An Ewok and a Gungan as well. Those I am I am certain we will get both of them. I'm absolutely certain we will get both an Ewok and a Gungan. So I'll be down for both of them as well. And this is what I was getting at before. A retired or old clone trooper veteran. With the timing, I'm not sure it would line up. I think most clones by that point would be getting pretty freaking old, but then I don't know, like in Rebels, yeah, I don't know because they age quicker, they would be like a lot older than, you know, Rex and stuff in Rebels because they, yeah, they age twice as fast. So I don't know if it would line up like timeline wise, but they could do it that, yeah, they could just have someone who's just got clone armor, just similar to like Cobb Vanth had Boba Fett's armor, for example, something like that would be pretty cool. K2SO, there is essentially the next hunter for you guys who don't know, it's not confirmed, but there is going to be a KX series droid, which is the same droid as K2SO called Chaos. He's been, he's in the reveal trailer or the, the launch trailer, I should say, hidden very briefly in the background. Um, so that is essentially confirmed. It hasn't been confirmed officially as in they haven't said he's on the way but like yeah i'd be shocked if he's not the next hunter and he's mentioned in that hunter's book i just mentioned as well so you can rest assured we will almost no doubt be seeing pretty much k2so in the game which would be pretty cool but that is going to do it for another reddit reaction like i said i'll be doing this probably every month or so so if you guys are interested in this type of content be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know that you want to see more but with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and may the force be with you always